In this episode, I'll be taking you through an in-depth look at Lindbergh's 125th scale model kit of the 1966 Chevelle Supersport. Let's take a look here on the Mile High Scale Modeler channel. Hello automotive scale modelers, welcome to the Mile High Scale Modeler channel. This is the Lindbergh 1966 Chevelle Supersport model kit in 125th scale. This kit comes in three different box arts. The other two box arts are shown here in the upper left and upper right on the screen. Let's take a look at all the sides of the box and deep dive into the kit contents. This is a 1998 issue and the first issue of this mold. This kit was yearned by modelers for many decades and finally released by Lindbergh. Lindbergh kits were known for fitment issues and more known for this compared to other kit manufacturers like MPC. Beyond belief to many modelers, this kit fits like a dream. Features of this kit include an opening hood, detailed chassis with complete suspension, chrome plated parts, a detailed engine, vinyl tires, and a well detailed interior. This kit is one of my all time favorite kits to build, especially for all the aftermarket options out there for photo etch and 3D aftermarket parts to turn this into a pro touring or weekend warrior door car. The vinyl tires are non-directional and have a nice tread pattern to them. And the tires are not overly hard like other tires you can receive in kits. For the clear plastic, here's the red sprue that only has the two taillights. Here is the clear sprue. You can find the windshield, rear window, and four headlights. The side vent windows are molded into the windshield piece. On the chrome tree you can find the stock hubcaps, air cleaner, carburetor, front and rear bumpers, front grille, chrome rear window trim, and valve covers to name a few. The body along with the remaining sprue trees are molded in white. The body has no flash that I could find. There is a good amount of mold lines that need to be removed around the rear quarter panel, on the body lines themselves, around the tail lights, and near the right and left of the rear window. The badging on the body is well defined yet can easily be removed if sanded. The amount of effort Lindbergh took to make such a pristine body makes me want to build a vinyl top version. This kit is no stranger to the typical Chevelle kit requirements of the front end being multi pieced inside the body there are some sink marks that need to be filled or removed that are visually seen when the kit is built. The chassis as you can see is very well detailed from the gas tank to the front lower A-arms. Much appreciated that Lindbergh placed the copyright in the trunk where you will not see it once the kit is built. The interior pan has a texture to it for the carpet. On this part sprue you'll find the rear bench seat, dashboard, and firewall. This is the 396 engine that comes in the kit. This part sprue you will find the side door carts. The detail is very nice. You can see the armrest, window cranks for both the front and rear along with the door crank. The two front seats are two pieces that will need to be glued together which I use to be extra thin and two clamps for each seat to make sure the two pieces are solid and this will hopefully leave very little mold lines to remove. The drive shaft, just like other kits, is very basic. The rear end is in two pieces. You will find the wheel backs, shocks, along with the rack and pinion here on the sprue tree. The exhaust, center console, and lower part of the dash can be found on this sprue tree. This kit allows for so many ideas to run through a modeler's mind. Here we can see the heads that have detail that can allow the model to be built with the valve covers off. The plastic Lindbergh used in the 90s was a great plastic from the experience I have had with building this kit in the past. The serpentine belt system is very well detailed and the radiator gives me a few ideas for photo etch parts or even the Detail Master radiator cap for an aftermarket perspective. Here's a look at the decals. Let's open the instruction manual and see how to put this kit together. 
there is some information provided by Lindbergh on how to apply the decals. Steps 1 through 3 is building the engine, which you can find the part numbers and the color via the color code. In step 4, you build the firewall. You build the chassis in step 5. Here is step 6 and 7. Step 8 is building and installing the rear end. We shift to the interior for step 9. Here are the remainder steps on this side of the instruction manual. The back side of the instruction manual shows the steps to finish up the body, decaling, and installing the body to the rest of the kit. I hope you enjoyed this kit review of Lindbergh's 1998 issue of the 1966 Chevelle Supersport in 125th scale. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos I upload. In the description below you can find all the tools I use to build my models, and hopefully there will be something new for you to try out in the next kit that you build. Please comment below if you've built this kit and any trials or tribulations you've had during the build. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.